How long do we spend standing in queues? Well, one estimate is 35 minutes a week, which is, I reckon, about one day every year. And with mobile phones, of course, you can be in two queues at once. Are these the most miserable words in the world? Your call is very important to us. Please hold. All of me, while I take all of me. But it used to be worse. Wartime shortages taught people to queue patiently for anything. They were still queuing in the 1950s. And complaining? Not a bit of it. It used to be said that an Englishman, if he is on his own, will form an orderly queue of one. Yep, looks like it's just me. And now you have queue rage. In a survey, they found 34% of people in a queue have lost their temper or shouted abuse. Terry Green knows his stuff. He's a customer flow management specialist, one of those careers you've never heard of. And he can't understand why so many shops get it wrong. It's the randomness of it, Arthur. You know, it, it's actually standing there in a line and seeing other people go faster. That, that's the thing that really winds people up. Fairness is the, is the word that we see more often than any other in all the, all the research into kind of customer attitudes to, to queuing. In pursuit of fairness, Terry Green helped to invent a system to keep queuing customers calm. Cashier number seven, please. Recognise that voice? Cashier number three, please. Wow, you must have one of the most famous voices in the world, then. Well, it's reckoned to be something like 30 million times a month in 8,000 locations up and down the UK. Of course, it's, it's not any faster, this system, though, is it? No, that's, that's right, Arthur, but because it's fair, it feels faster. Customers like it because you stand in line, it's first in, first out, and the sound of the voice makes people aware of how fast the queue is actually moving. Cashier number three, please. <laughs> You're a natural. Cashier number two, please. <sighs> <laughs> Did they have problems with queuing in Shakespeare's day? It certainly looks like it. One way around the problem, of course, is to hire someone to queue in your place. And apparently there was a company a decade ago that had 80 queuers on their books charging £20 an hour. Money to be made. What a palaver, piling up the shopping and only then seeing long lines at the checkout. It's the last part of a grinding weekly ritual. But what happens when customers get sick of waiting. One survey says that two out of three customers have left the queue because it was too long. They leave the shop and they take their loyalty with them. Retailers know the best way to cut queues is to have enough staff to serve the customers. Well, I think it's quite tricky to manage because we can get sudden surges of customers, we can get events happening outside the store, and that can mean that we get a very sort of unpredictable level of customer flows through the actual store itself. So this supermarket chain has turned to infrared technology. It counts customers by measuring body heat. Well, if you have a family of three people queuing, you don't want to count three in a queue, you want to count one shopping unit. So the, in the detectors are intelligent enough to determine from the movement and the behavior of the thermal targets how many shopping units are in the queue. The system then, uh, by monitoring the speed of arrival of people into the store and the, their arrival at the checkouts, can predict in real time the optimum number of tills needed in 5, 10, 15, 30 minutes time to maintain the queues at an acceptable level. Of course, there are some queues that none of us mind. This is my personal favourite, the bus home. 